Hi Aquarius, this is your May 2020 forecast. If you would like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, do use the link below. Uh, we have Zoom coming up, so this is to help you get over any addictions or habits, uh, any um, blockages in your love life, your um, karma to do with your wealth, your health, your love, uh, life direction, uh, and any anxiety, stress, or depression. So these classes will be up. Uh, do use the link below uh, to see those. Now in May, the nodes are shifting from Capricorn Cancer into Gemini Sagittarius and so for you specifically Aquarius you're going to leave behind a part of you now Aquarius you are well known to be able to love everybody help everybody be the life of the party uh, and give too much without being able to say no so part of that you are going to have to let go of you are leaving behind some groups some unions some friends something has to be left in the past anything to do with uh, the 11th house so they are um, these these things around you which aren't helping you anymore that's a natural conclusion natural ending here uh, and that will come up abruptly over the next two years um, where these changes are forced on you or you will make those changes yourself then some of these things are your direction in life what you once thought were your greatest hopes and dreams or where you once thought uh, you know, this group was helping you, leaving these people behind once you change your job, whatever. These things are you are putting down. Now, where you do have some opportunity and um, and luck and um, and real karma for you is in the idea of children for some of you. So uh, having children um, and for um, love uh, and dating. So any of those um, foundational um, ment um, uh, mentality that you've had, in that area, uh, working through that will bring about um, prosperous results for you. So, you know, if you've always been dating the kind, same kind of person and the same kind of results and getting stuck in these cycles, by uh, stopping those cycles and by putting an end to it, you are going to bring in that real nice karmic love for you, Aquarius. Uh, also, for some of you, your children are at an age where you need to step back, mine are. And you have to sit back a little bit and let them make their own mistakes and cut those apron strings. And so it's like another um, another level for you now. Uh, you're still a parent, um, but now you're not needed as much as you were. And so that cycle is, is part of your life as well. Some of you, it's your sports or your projects or creative groups that you're in. Um, you know, there'll be more there. So this month, uh, you are focused on your home. Now, there is the Seven of Wands here. Now, this is um, waiting on news of finances, waiting on news of your career um, <clears throat> details are uh, imminent but they're just taking a little while and this is causing you uh, to fret uh, you're on pins and needles and you're not able to commit to something else until you have these details and maybe what your um, it's not the funds maybe it's the details or the person coming to it there's something here where there needs to be commitment uh, yourself to that or a contract and it's not um, coming straight away maybe it's negotiations because uh, you're pushing back against somebody else um, maybe if you're working in a career you've got people um, pointing at you and you're um, holding it back saying look I can't do everything it's not all on my shoulders uh, you know everyone's looking to you for answers and so we are waiting here uh, this month when it comes to finances now um, being with that you're dealing with your home all month this can be banks this can be mortgages this can be you know funds I need for for that area or even working from home maybe there's so much going on uh, and you're trying to get your your work done from home but there's responsibilities there that are overwhelming and causing mistakes causing um uh for some of you uh you need to spend money for this um to continue but you don't actually have the money so it's one of those those sorts when it comes to your actual home we have the king of wands here now this is a fire sign uh airy sagittarius leo so i'm in a rising um uh, where we need to have a little sit down um maybe there's some gossip or rumors or something going around and you know being a parent you want to sit down if this is a child or if it's your partner you want to sit down and say okay well listen you know da 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 um the other way this is going on is that maybe there needs to be a um I talk about the rules and respect and responsibilities and how people are um, doing their fair share physically and financially around the home um, because this conversation needs to be had. Also, someone might be moving in or moving out of home as well. And for a small select few of you, um, there is direct responsibility uh, between you and another uh, this, uh, this month. Now, when it comes to your health, you do have the Four of Cups. Now, this could be a... Um, 
a time of depression or a time of feeling low or a time of feeling um, stuck in life, stuck in home in life. Because uh, this is the tree of life and this is our home and we're sitting here and we're moping. And there is emotional, you know, uh, given out to us and, and divine, uh, but we're not, except we're focused on these three things uh, and we, we, we don't want to move, you know, we're, we're just not having it. And for some of you, this is a mental decline. Fourth house is uterus, digestion, breast, stomach, and womb. So if we are ignoring this, is the um, those areas causing an imbalance, which is making us feel this way, making us feel sluggish, making us feel uh, hormonal, temperamental. Um, you know, sometimes these things can play in our mind and we act in a different way than we would a week later. Um, <clears throat> This is also about looking at and looking directly at anything inherited from our parent or in the you know that area for us. In your love, you do have the Major Arcana card, the Chariot card. So from this moment in March on, this is a direct road ahead to your karmic love. Remember, I said that there's opportunity all for the next two years for you to really meet that karmic love and to have that real wonderful dating uh, relationship scenario that you've always been wanting for. But there are going to have to be some changes made now before we can get that. What happens through the month of May will lead you through that. So if you have a situation in love this month, you will learn something from that or you'll move forward with something for that. This is a major arcana card and it is the seven and it is commitment. So in terms of an actual relationship, things have been stalled, things have been procrastinating, things have been taking time, the decisions about the future, how we're moving forward. Uh, even if we've, we've, there's a travel, um, you know, a distance of some sort, these are all been here now. We have our directive. We're both committed to that and we're both moving forward. But by getting there, we have to be fair and we have to be calm and we have to have the same um, perspective, the same agreement. We're on the same page when it comes to this. Now, if you are a... Um, single person, this is meeting someone, um, I want to say um, Capricorn, Taurus or a Virgo, Sun, Moon or Rising, um, and this person, um, oh I don't know, this is a little, little bit arrogant or a little bit prideful, not in a bad way, just a little bit, um, and uh, wants to move forward, that might get surprised, you might be surprised that they, they want to keep it, I don't know, but that this is a major change for you in your love. Now, for a small select few of you, um, to be able to gain that, you're going to have to lose that. Um, so maybe if this is the discussion we're having with this fire sign um, or the, this man that's in our life, we've decided, look, you know, equal footing, amicable split, blah, 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 blah. But what happens this month is directly resulting um, towards what your future um, karma love looks like. My God, a lot of cards. Okay, so we're spending some time thinking about uh, what we want, our past, and how we apply that to areas in our life and how we need to make some of those changes. We do have that victory. We do have negotiations, and we are looking at the partnerships in our life. We do have a no when it comes to uh, getting those results immediately. We're not going to get those results immediately, um, and we may even get back a, a negative result of some sort. This um, depression, this blue, this moody, this nostalgia, Whatever it is that's clearing, um, clouding our mind is going to start clearing and we are emotionally going to heal from that in a karmic way because this is Archangel Uriel. So what we do this month in an emotional way is actually clearing because everything has to happen over the next two years and it does, there is going to be some um, downs before we have ups or, you know, Things are going to change in a specific way, but permanently in the way that you date uh, and in your groups. And Yvonne says, be compassionate to you. Now, you might also find that someone buys your pet um, as a surprise this month as well. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.